Alex here and welcome to this one dumbbell shoulder workout. So if you want to build muscle and strength in your shoulders with just one dumbbell at home or anywhere, then you've come to the right place. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, let's kick things off in the warm up. Starting in some shoulder rolls, bring those shoulders up, roll them backwards and just make nice big circles warming up the shoulders. We're going to spend three minutes activating and getting these joints and muscles ready for this workout. Try to relax your head and your neck and allow the shoulders to come up and back. Take that into torso rotations, just twisting from side to side, allowing your shoulders and your chest to open up. You can do this with your arms up here, or you can just relax your arms and allow them to hit your back and wrap around your body. Up to you. Allow your knees to softly bend as you twist your hips and rotate from side to side. Come down onto the ground into all fours position. Reach through one shoulder, drop the shoulder down, reach through, stretch the back, and then with your breath, open it up and reach the arm up to the ceiling. Engage the back and the shoulders and reach through again, same side. Same on the other side. Reach through, drop the shoulder, have a nice stretch through the upper back, and then open it up, open the chest and shoulders, engage the back, reach the fingers up, and repeat. Okay, let's take it into a child's pose to cobra. So from this all fours position, extend yourself out a little bit, sit back into a child's pose, lengthen through the spine. And when you're ready, come forwards, drop the hips, engage the upper body, lengthen through the spine, elevate the chest. Just take it nice and easy and slow, moving through the body between these two positions. Starting to load up into the wrists hands, forearms and shoulders. So then we're able to come up into a high plank, lift the knees off the ground. Now push away from the floor, spread your fingers, round your upper back, lock out your arms, core engaged, legs long, hold it here. Final few seconds in the warm up before we begin. Okay, good, well done. If you need any more warm up, then take it now. I'm gonna switch the timer to 40 seconds work. So this is a one dumbbell workout. I do have a variety of weights. If you have one dumbbell in different weights, then that's ideal because different exercises requires different weights. However, if you literally just have one dumbbell, then that's okay as well. I'll guide you through to make it the best workout possible. So exercise number one, we're going for a shoulder press, one arm. Stand to shoulder press position, elbow out, shoulders back, driving up above the head. Are you ready for 40 seconds work? In three, two, one. Here we go. Exercise one, shoulder press. So shoulders back, chest up. Make sure you have strong, solid legs, core engaged, and you're staying up nice and tall in your posture. Let's do this. Slowly down, push until your arm is straight, fully extended. You'll feel your shoulders, your triceps, across the back, your upper back working. 10 more seconds. At the end, we're gonna switch straight into the other arm with no rest. 
Good, switch to the other arm, let's go. Same thing, you might find using the other arm for a bit of balance if you like. It can be by your side if you want, or out wide might help you keep that upright torso if you like. Keep going. You might find one arm weaker or stronger than the other arm. That's fine. You will notice when doing these single arm or single dumbbell workouts that you start to recognize some weaknesses and workouts like this will really help build those weaknesses up. We are taking it straight into the first arm again. Let's go. So the structure of this workout is 40 seconds work with no rest, switching from one arm to the other for three sets most of the time. And then after those three sets, we do get to rest and before we move on to the next exercise. So let's burn out in this shoulder press. Five seconds. And switch. Carry on. If your weight is too heavy, then you have the option of a push press, which is just a bend in the knee and then driving up with momentum. If it's too light, then don't worry. Keep going. Trust me, it's gonna burn. Keep your shoulders engaged, shoulders back, upper back engaged, chest up. Five seconds before the final switch. Good, back to the first arm. Third and final set before a rest. The purpose of this workout is to get as much work done with one dumbbell in the most efficient way with our time. So whilst one arm is resting, the other arm is working. Keep it going, almost there before the final switch. Five, four, and switch. 40 seconds before a rest. Here we go. Make sure your belly is in, core is tight to your spine, even legs and glutes are engaged as well. Eight, seven, keep going. Two, one, and rest. Well done. We are in the deep end, thrown straight in there. So we're gonna do the same process with a variety of different exercises, starting next in the lateral raise. So this is an isolation exercise. If you have a lighter dumbbell, then take it for this exercise. If you don't have lighter versions, then don't worry. One arm at a time in a lateral raise, lifting up out to the side to about shoulder height, palms facing down. If you can finish with your pinky a little bit higher than your thumb to work those shoulders, that's what we're looking for. Get ready for the first arm. In five, four, three, let's go. 40 seconds each arm in a lateral raise. If it's too light, you can have a nice easy lift out to the side, time under tension. If it's a bit too heavy, then you can bring the dumbbell out in front and just help it up with a little bit of momentum in that first little bit of movement. But make sure you keep the control coming down. If it's too heavy, what you can do is really work on that slow lowering phase to build strength.
up to shoulder height, control down. Bend the elbow a little bit, lift the elbow up high. Straight into the other arm, let's go. Get that conscious squeeze at the top. As the hand and the elbow comes up, think about squeezing those deltoid muscles across the top of the shoulders. We have eight seconds before we switch to the first arm. Here we go, first arm for set two. Straight in. This is intense. This is gonna get you great results in this workout and with consistency. You got this. Second arm, here we go, set two, second arm, straight in. Think about that controlling down. Don't just allow it to fall down, but control. Three, two, one. Third and final set in the lateral raise. Off you go. You don't need a heavy weight for this exercise at all. It's good to keep up the good technique as much as you can. So if you do have the lighter weight option, then definitely use it with this one. Four, three. Hand switch, final time, here we go. Halfway, keep it going. Long spine, chest up, lift with the muscle. Five, four. And well done. Rest there, we get 40 seconds rest. Rest the shoulders, have a drink. We're gonna take it into the same structure with a new exercise into a hammer press. If you would keep me waiting, I would wait a lifetime. In tricky situations. So back to that first arm, back to the first exercise, but instead of out here, come here, palms in, hands underneath the elbow, driving up, keeping your elbow in this line. Eight seconds for a hammer press. Four, three, here we go. Hammer press. So now those shoulders are truly working and activated. It's gonna be a little bit tougher by the third set. So utilize that push press whenever you need if the weight is too heavy. Otherwise, just take your time. Think about the time under tension in those shoulder muscles and focus on the power 
explosive push. You got this. Well done, straight over to the second arm, same thing. <sighs> Keep your body facing forwards, hips, chest, shoulders aligned, facing forwards, nice, strong, stable base. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Second set. First arm straight in. Here we go. So now focus on that foot extension. We're not driving over here, but we're driving directly above the body. Chest comes forwards until the weight is directly above your body loading through the center line of your body. Seven, six, five, couple more reps. Well done, straight over to second arm, second set. It's always nice for those first few reps after it's been resting for 40 seconds. But then it eventually catches up and fatigues. This is good, this is what we want. Stay with it, 15 seconds. Two. One, switch, third and final set in the hammer press. Let's go. Really great focus on the anterior deltoids at the front of the shoulders. Great one for building the strength here. And all of this one arm movement and loading is great work for our core and our stability as well. Four, three, two, one. Switch for the final time. Let's go. Open up the chest. Shoulders squeezed back. Earn that next rest period in 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. And 40 seconds rest, well done, have a drink. Okay, we're gonna move on into the next two exercises that only have two sets each. The first one being a front raise. So just like we did the lateral raise, same thing, out to the front, directly out to the front from the side of your body, lift up, your palm faces down, so it's a slight rotation, or if you have something really light, then you can go from in front of the leg, directly up. Get ready, in two, one, front raise. Here we go. Again, it's an isolation exercise, so if you do have the option of a lighter weight, then use it now. Just like the lateral raise, come up to about shoulder height, 
and then control down, don't just fall down. Halfway. If the weight is quite heavy, like it is for me, you've got that initial bit of momentum from the side of your body, just a little push to get there, control down. Always stay safe, never make it unnatural or um, unsafe, but you can allow a bit of movement if needed. Switch on. Halfway, keep going. We're working on that slight pause at the top. The more you resist coming down, the more these muscles are gonna work. So when you get to that peak level, just try and hold it there. And switch arm, second set. Remember, this is just a two set exercise. So this is your final time in this one. Work hard. Ten seconds. And three, two, one, final switch. Other arm, let's go, front raise. You can also use this other arm to have a feel of your muscle. This may help the mind to muscle connection because you want to get that connection with your mind to squeeze and contract the muscles you're looking to work. If you don't feel them hard, then that will be a cue for you to get a better connection and squeeze those muscles. We are working the mid and anterior deltoids here. For seven, six. And rest there, well done. 40 seconds rest. The shoulders are getting beasted. This is what we're here to do. Let's move on to the next exercise, the bent over rear fly. So, we haven't done much to, um, so far on those rear flies, those rear deltoids. So we're gonna bend over like you would in a bent over row from here, lifting out to the side. You can even have your palms facing inwards or behind you. Have a feel of both. In three, two, one, let's go into the middle. You can have palms facing inwards and downwards or backwards. We want to get that connection with the rear delt. Make sure in your bent over position you are safe. Glutes, legs, strong foundation, core in, long spine, no rounded back like this. Other hand on your thigh. If you do have a lighter dumbbell, use it now. I do have a lighter dumbbell but I'm gonna stay with my heavier one just to help out the guys who are watching who only have one dumbbell, literally. Switch to the other arm, let's go. This is a two set exercise like the last one. Keep the dumbbell under your body, nice and tight to your body. The further out it is, the harder on the lower back it will be. Three, two, one, and switch to the first arm. Second and final set, keep going. 
If your lower back is sore, stand up, refresh yourself and get back in. And make sure your technique is good with bent legs, tilt forwards from the hips, glutes and thighs engaged. Ten seconds. If you need to come up at any point, do so. Stay safe with whatever weight you have. Individual workout for you. Two, one, switch. Final 40. Think about lifting and squeezing the shoulder blades together. It's not just, of course, the rear delts which are working, but also all across the upper back. Ten seconds. Keep going. Almost there. Well done. And rest there. Two sets of that exercise done. Have a drink, have a breather. And we have one exercise left. So the same structure with a power clean and press. One arm at a time. Don't let the name of the exercise scare you. We're just coming from here. This is a clean, this is a press. Okay, in 10 seconds, one arm at a time. You can use your legs, your hips, to allow that weight to come up. If it's really light, it might be like an upright row or a bicep curl, which is fine. But if it's on the heavier side, let's go. Then it's a clean with your hips up to the shoulders, drive above. Control down and repeat. Let's go. So now the shoulders are really fatigued from all the work that we've done. This exercise is a little bit easier than a static shoulder press because we've got the momentum and movement with it. And there's not as many shoulder presses because we have the clean. Three, two, one, switch to the other side. Same thing, but of course the clean is working the shoulders as well with a different exercise. We're working all across the top here to lift. And you can work on getting that lift up into the shoulders. The momentum from the hips to shoulders. Keep going. Get ready for the other arm. Back to the first arm. This is a three set exercise again. That's gonna take us very close to the end of the workout. And this is probably where the heart rate is gonna peak as well. You will find that more compound dynamic movement like this is gonna get the heart rate up, work on our cardiovascular fitness and a higher calorie burn as well. Get ready to switch arms. Here we go, set two, second arm. If the weight is too heavy, you still have the push press option. You can clean and push press.
Five seconds before switching to the first arm. Here we go, third and final set in this exercise. Last chance, give it everything. Stay strong in the legs, the core. I don't even care who I run from. 10 seconds in this arm, keep going. Three, two, one, and switch. Here we go, final 40 seconds in this exercise. Chest forwards, fully extend that arm, good press. Ten seconds, we do get a rest after this, work it. Three, two, one, and rest. Good. The clean and press complete. Have your sip of water, whatever drink you got going at the moment. Got my BCAAs by GOG. Make sure you click the links if you're interested in some. Thought I'd just plug that in there. We have the finisher. Are you ready? Two exercises, 40 seconds each, using one dumbbell for both sides at the same time. Let me show you. Exercise one, hold on to the outside of the dumbbell. We are going to a front raise, bring it in and press down. Front raise, let's go, join me. Press, front raise. Here we are, 40 seconds of this combo. Front raise and press. Halfway. Okay, at the end of this set, we're going straight into a shoulder press pulse with this same grip. But this is where I want you to hit failure. Give it everything. And when you hit failure, rest and carry on. Do everything you can in this 40 seconds. Here we go. This position, pulse, mid-range. Here, don't give up. When it burns, bring it into your chest, rest, and carry on. This is the final 30 seconds of the workout. Oh. 20 seconds left. Ten seconds with me. Push to the end. Let's go. Three, two, one. Yeah. <laughs> Shake it off. That is the work complete. Amazing job. Have a breather. Have a drink if you need, and let's take it to stretching off those tight, sore shoulders. Okay, I'm switching the timer back to thirty seconds, like we did in the warm up. And let's start with a standard shoulder stretch. Bring one arm across your body, pull that arm in, drop the shoulders down, and lift across. Start getting your breath back after that intense finish. Take nice deep breaths. Shake it off, switch to the other arm. Start congratulating yourself, feeling awesome for spending the 30 minutes here with me to work on your shoulder strength, muscle and gains. 
with the no, no excuses approach of just having one dumbbell, whether you're doing this at home, at the gym, at a hotel room, traveling around, in the park maybe, <laughs> I just wanna say well done and thank you for joining me. Let's take it into tricep stretch. Back to the first arm, hands down your back, hold onto that elbow and just apply a bit of pressure, reaching the fingers down your back and then get that lengthen in the spine and try to relax in that position. And shake it off and switch to the other arm. So it's important to go through these few minutes as a minimum for your recovery and cool down. If anything, it's a good mental approach just to bring yourself back to awareness and calmness before you go on about the rest of your day. But it's also good to lengthen off those tight muscles that we've been building up for the blood and lactic acid and this will help release that and improve our recovery. Come down onto the ground into a cat stretch, hands on the floor, knees underneath your hips, drop your chin and lengthen up through the spine, hold it at the top. If you need to move and come out of it like a cat and cow you can, just follow what feels good to lengthen off anything that feels good or hold it and get that lengthening and final stretch in a child's pose open up the knees reach your fingers forwards drop the chest and get that lengthening through the spine stretch the chest the back because although this is a shoulder focused workout you can't get through workouts like this without involving all aspects of your body. And so it should with a functional workout like this. Okay, well done. Slowly come out of that position. Awesome work. Thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully you're enjoying these single dumbbell workouts that I've been filming. If this is the first one you've seen, then make sure you check out the others because I'm doing other areas of the body with just one dumbbell. All right, if you do like it, then give this video a thumbs up and click subscribe to my channel for lots more coming. See ya.